What up, it's your boy T Bear here. Reaction today is uh Film Five Plus WrestleMania Day is first get pre WrestleMania Day as well too, and we want to check out one last video about WrestleMania, and this is from WrestleMania, and this is last 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 shocking last second shocking WrestleMania rumors and let me see, oh is that right? Um. Next, last shotgun rumors and returns. So anyway, we want to take a look at these as well too. You know, WrestleMania is all about shocks. Anything shock as well too, just as long as the shock is don't be too shocking. And we do witness the new undefeated, undisputed championships as well, and that's Cody Rose. He leaves all of it and holds it as a baby face as well too. Let's get it. What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. A WrestleMania 40 is almost here, and this year's edition looks to be one of the best in years, if not decades. Join us now as we look at all the shocking rumours that you need to know about WrestleMania 40. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos, and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. Number 1. A New Start Time One interesting development for this year's show is that WrestleMania will actually start at 7pm Eastern so, yeah. rather than the normal 8pm start. Does this mean that WWE is planning more matches or simply giving itself more time so it has more room for matches and segments? Number 2. More matches being booked a WrestleMania 40 currently has 13 matches booked for both nights, but should the WWE Universe expect any more matches? As so, let me just double check the, the card. I sent it to a web to look at it and see what the nights are as well, too. So, yeah. How many matches are there? Let me see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. So, it's still 13, so it might, we may never know. So it could, it could, yeah, it could be as, could ask some more who, never, who may never know. Present the biggest show of the year. Even Triple H recently announced on Complex that he wants WrestleMania 40 to be one of the biggest WrestleManias of all time. The WWE announced two additional matches to the show on 1st April, this being the Philadelphia Street Fight between Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits in the final testament, as well as a six-person tag match between Damage Control and the team of Bianca Belair, Naomi and Jade Cargill. Some fans and wrestling analysts have speculated there will be 14 matches. Still, we don't think that Triple H believes a show needs a certain number of matches, something which should be obvious from the game booking just four matches at this year's Rumble. The big question here is whether the WWE will book any of these 13 matches on its pre-shows on Saturday and Sunday. If so, this could give the WWE even more time for the main show's matches. On the other hand, how does the WWE plan to use any extra time? Will it waste the fans' time with advertisements or hype videos that have nothing to do with WrestleMania? They need to be careful about not burning out fans with a long run time, right. both for the fans watching at Lincoln Financial Field and the PLE audience. Number 3. A last minute cash in? No discussion of any additional matches is complete without exploring whether Damian Priest will cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase. El Senor Money in the Bank still has time to cash in his briefcase, although the clock is winding down, but things have never looked brighter than this year's showcase of the Immortals. If Damien and Finn defend the Undisputed Tag Team Championship on Saturday, Priest will have the chance to go after the winner of the Cody vs. Roman or Seth vs. Drew match. Priest will be better rested than anyone involved in the match and both matches are likely to take everyone to the brink. Although Damien cashing in isn't certain, it's a possibility that shouldn't be discounted. Number 4. Huge Legends yeah, to Return please. The WWE Universe is buzzing over the rumors of legends such as John Cena, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and even The Undertaker showing up. While none of these yeah, three superstars have been announced for the show, moment. there have been rumors galore that one or all three grappling greats could show up. If any of these superstars do show up, it's extremely unlikely that they'll work a match. First, The Undertaker has repeatedly said he's finished competing. 
Second, it's doubtful that Stone Cold Steve Austin will work an impromptu match, although that isn't the case with John Cena who's repeatedly shown he's game for anything if he can help the WWE. Third, and perhaps most importantly, the WWE will promote any match for weeks, if not months, if that was the case. True. That being said, the WWE Universe believes that the 25th March Raw segment, where The Rock beat down Cody Rhodes senseless, provided an easter egg that Cena and Austin will be at WrestleMania to lend a hand to Cody should the bloodline interfere on Sunday. Dave Meltzer recently told fans not to read into any possible easter egg. However, Meltzer did note in the latest Wrestling Observer that there is a mystery slot slated for the show. Just what that means is anyone's guess, but a recent tweet could provide a clue. Also, there was WrestleVotes who mentioned that those truck placements were not a coincidence. The placement there was planned. Number 5, a two-time WWE Hall of Famer hints at helping Cody Rhodes. Ooh. Could two-time WWE Hall of Famer Hulk Hogan Ooh. show up to help Cody Rhodes? Now, we've already covered rumors about potential superstars lending a hand, but a recent video upload from the Hulkster suggests that Hogan could get involved. Hogan promoted his appearance at the Fanatic signing on Sunday and predicted Cody Rhodes would win the Undisputed Championship. Hogan had his weight belt in hand and recalled some of the classic strap matches, name-dropping legends like Wahoo McDaniel. Hulk warned The Rock to stay out of Cody's match, insinuating he could intervene and reminding The Rock of their history together. Hogan ended his promo by sending one last warning, that The Rock could find himself on the receiving end of a beating. Number 6. Surprise Appearances Now we've seen some legends who could show up, but what about returning superstars or celebrities? WrestleMania is a magnet for celebrity appearances and past WrestleManias have shown how a celebrity appearance at Mania can lead to a match at a future PLE. Mm -hmm. Such was the case with Bad Bunny when he stopped Dominic Mysterio from using a foreign object against Rey, which led to Bad Bunny's street fight against Damian Priest at Backlash. Although we haven't heard about any celebrities planning to compete, there are always rumors of boxers and MMA fighters thinking of stepping into the ring. There's also the chance that fans could see one or more members of the Philadelphia Eagles football team at the show. One last celebrity that could show up is Sly Stallone. While the WWE was repeatedly trying to bring Stallone into making an appearance, don't be surprised if the Rocky star does a video introduction as That'd WrestleMania awesome. comes to the city of brotherly awesome. love. As for returning superstars, one name that immediately comes to mind is Alexa Bliss. Liz has been off for maternity leave, but she's already hinted her return is imminent. And what of Charlotte Flair? True. While the Queen's return from a slew of injuries is rumored to be sometime in the fall, fans have seen superstars return sooner than expected. Even if Flair doesn't wrestle, she could show up to lend a hand against damage control. Another WWE superstar to keep an eye on is MVP. MVP is currently managing almost, but there's some speculation, and wild speculation rather than informed speculation, that the former manager of the Hurt Business could show up and help Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits Ooh, against the Final Testament. Awesome. Lashley recently commented that it's time for the old Bobby Lashley to come back, and what could be more old school than a reunion with his former manager and the man who helped him win two WWE Championships? MVP would certainly help Lashley and the Profits with the numbers game since the Final Testament not only have Scarlett in their corner, but precious Paul Ellering. Mm -hmm. Number 7. Speculation of Brock Lesnar Return that. As always, the IWC has used CSI-like technology to work out that not only was Austin and John Cena on the truck behind The Rock during his beatdown on Cody Rhodes, but if you look closely in the back, you'll see an image of Brock Lesnar on the back of the WWE truck. This has speculated his return. Honestly though, it's nothing more than speculation as right now there are no plans to bring Brock Lesnar back into WWE. Number 8. Are we going to see any turns? Of First being Jade Cargill. And Jade Cargill doesn't need a tag team partner or faction uh -oh. to help get her over. Nonetheless, we feel that WWE may want to hedge its bet by allying Cargill with damage control. If so, having a betrayer teammates at WrestleMania no. is an ideal way to do so and create an- No. No. Too soon. Mm -mm. Too soon. An instant matchup against Bianca Belair, Bailey, and Naomi. The second, Damian Priest. The Archer of Infamy does well as a heel or a babyface, but Raw needs a fresh babyface, and Priest's run in the Judgment Day may be over after WrestleMania. I feel, and I said this could lead. This could, I said, I said this was could lead to um decision if they lose the tag title, and thing kind of costs Damian the cash in. Who knows? Yeah. Turning Priest babyface could open the door for some excellent programs, depending on who wins either world title and whether Damien cashes in his Money in the Bank briefcase. What about Chad Gable? Oh, yeah. While we and many True. members of the WWE Universe are hoping it won't happen, fans shouldn't rule out the possibility of Chad Gable costing Sami Zayn his match I'm, against Gunther. That's why I was thinking until the end, so who knows, less that. I feel like he's still going to turn heel and if he with him afterwards, who knows. It'd be a bad move, but if the WWE mm -hmm. feels Gunther still needs the championship, it's a good way to protect Sammy by having him lose due to a betrayal mm -hmm. rather than coming up short in a one on one match. And Jey Uso. Yo, Another turn that God. fans have been talking about no. is Jey Uso. 
Main Event Jay has plenty of reasons to be angry with the Bloodline, as well as his brother Jimmy, but some fans feel the Uso vs Uso match will lead to reconciliation between the twins. This doesn't mean that Jay has to turn heel again, but some fans feel it would be a good swerve to keep the title off Cody. But we also think this would be a good way to revive the hashtag cancel WWE Network movement. What about a Seth Rollins heel turn? Well, some fans believe Seth will turn on Cody on night one during their high stakes tag team match. While it's possible Rollins hasn't forgiven Rhodes for beating him three PLEs in a row, we doubt this will happen as it will make for more sense for a babyface Seth to face a heel Drew McIntyre. Number 9. How will WrestleMania affect the WWE going forward? True. While fans know the WWE doesn't start things over with a clean slate after Mania, otherwise there'd be no reason for Backlash to resolve some right. storylines that didn't end at the show of shows, expect to see some new directions for several superstars and factions. Is Roman Reigns going to quit WWE if he loses? At the first, there's a question of what's next for Roman Reigns. Now, Reigns has said that like he's taking a break if he loses. If he loses the undisputed Wait, championship I'm and he's no he longer the this. top guy in WWE, then he doesn't want to be here. Now, although this is not part of any match stipulation, the WWE made it clear in Roman's recent A&E documentary and on Raw that he sees no future in wrestling should he drop the title. While fans shouldn't take this as evidence Cody is winning, it could give Reigns an excuse to take his usual three or four month stretch off television. What about the Judgment Day? The second biggest question yeah, is how- I said it's time for them to start drilling down too. They, I think they're going to start um, drilling as well too. Rhea could eventually turn her face. Not only uh, Dan Priest could possibly turn her face, Rhea could turn her face as well too because she's too popular to st be stuck as a hell, man. How things will play out for the Judgment Day. The group has been teasing a split for months now, whether it's Damian Priest wanting to run things, Dominic Mysterio's friendship with La Guerra del Fantasma, or the question of whether Rhea Ripley is turning babyface. Yep. The Judgment Day has been great, but it's a faction that doesn't need to go on, and it's helped no, elevate the careers of everyone in the group. Although just how much JD McDonough has benefited is subject to debate. The WWE could get a solid Damian Priest versus Finn Balor feud from a breakup, and Rhea Ripley might benefit from being drafted to SmackDown. As for Daddy Dom, a defection to La Guerra del Fantasma is right in line with Mysterious character as he's in it for number one. How will The Rock leave the WWE? Is The Rock sticking around after WrestleMania? While the WWE has The Rock around for at least two years, at least based on the rumors of the incentives that he has after joining TKO Holdings Board of Directors, it's believed he'll be absent for at least three months after WrestleMania due to a new film he's starring in. If this happens, how will the WWE write him off television? Don't expect something simple like the final boss just walking away. Expect something big like an injury angle or a suspension and any other possibilities. And finally, what's next for Seth? And there are some big questions for Rollins depending on whether he drops the World Heavyweight Championship. Some fans believe Rollins will take time off if he drops the title in order to deal with nagging injuries affecting him. If not, could he then go after the Undisputed Championship assuming that Cody Rhodes wins it and he actually turns on him? Or will he work a different program? Let us know in the comments down below. Cool. I'll see you next time with some more. I feel like good majority of the, us of the uh, speculations are good as well too. Like some of the turns, like um, one, one only hill target possibly is definitely Chad and possibly Seb, but not then. Jade, no, don't make sense. Jade as well too. At least not don't line with damage control or anything. Turn them afterwards that they need a team. If you must have a turn, but other than that. Um, this has been good. Let me see if anything. If Thumbnail does, somebody say that Thumbnail have the Thumbnail was a uh, John Cena and, and so called with Cody Rose. That'd be happy as well too. Let me, let me see. Damien Cash in a million and beats Drew. Drew gets his rematch. Maybe a triple threat. Yep, the Cash the Castle. I think night one Cody will lose due to the self betrayal. Night two will add an odd stack. Yep. So yeah, it's definitely, hopefully, hopefully it means Cody's is winning night two, though, regardless. And coming out, no cash in, nothing like that. Other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment out what you think about WrestleMania. I'm this is my last video of the other day, and I will um for um tomorrow at WrestleMania I might do a a straight from phone uh review reaction one the way on the road back from WrestleMania because I'll probably leave my wife will drive because she ain't gonna trust me she ain't gonna trust me uh driving at night. But anyway, it's your boy T signing off. One love.